Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 1st, 2021. Well, my goodness, you have to almost stand in awe of the strength of this bull market. Seven straight months of gains in the market. It hasn't been without its pitfalls. And now we enter the September trade, which has historically been a very, very challenging month for the market. However, the last three of the five last trading years, September has been bullish. So could we just continue this march to the upside? Absolutely. There is nothing in evidence in these charts that the bull um, seems ready to stop. However, there are some concerns out there. We've seen internals um, in, the, in the economy showing that possible slowdown coming. And there are those issues out there of just overextension and valuation of the market valuation of these stocks that are starting to create just little tiny bits of uncertainty. So let's take a look at the charts and see if we can gain some information today about how we might want to approach the market for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, friends. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's uh, take a gander at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the morning. Now, we do have some data coming here in just a few moments this morning that could definitely change things. But let's take a look at what we've got going on here. First off, if we draw a trend line up here on the Dow, notice that what we've been in is locked into a little bit of a uh, bullish consolidation as we just kind of dress across here sliding out toward this overall trend we still haven't had that ability here in the dow to push on out and set new record highs but we are definitely within striking distance of that place right now futures are pushing this morning we are looking at a bullish open dow is looking to gap up 114 points after yesterday selling not exactly sure what the inspiration for that is yet, but they're pushing hard this morning for that pop to this morning. I guess anticipation of those jobs numbers. But let's take a look in here. If we were to falter, what would we look for here in the chart? Well, once again, if we were to pull back, if we find something, if the bears find some reason in the market to pull back, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble unless we see selling that pushes us down below this dark candle right here push us down below there there we would have a little bit of concern and then even if that were to come into play we still have this support level right here in the chart and the trend that could prevent us from continuing to fall. So no particular problems so far there. We do have that possibility that we could find inspiration for the bulls. And if that were the case and we push on higher, we want to pay attention right in here to that resistance high in that chart. Remember, we could have that possibility that the inspiration in these numbers today push us right on through to new records in the Dow. One thing you do also have to recognize is if we were to um, not move higher and fail in this area, that could set up that lower high in the Dow. So just keep those things in mind. We've got a little struggle going on here. And there is just a few things um, this morning that could move us pretty dramatically, but let's keep a close eye on this. Let's take a look at the SPY, 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 moving up in a unbelievably bullish move. Now, if we take a look at this trend right here, notice this trend, we are stretched away from that trend, significantly stretched away. So our current trend in the market is very, very bullish, and, I, and some would say parabolic. And if you take a look at the upside of this channel, we are definitely at the top side of that channel. 
in this SPY. But this morning we're trying to stretch out. Looks like we have that possibility of new record highs as big tech continues to do the majority of the lifting in the market, really, really pushing. There seems to be zero concern in the market about these really, really inflated evaluations of big tech but nobody seems to care. The market doesn't seem to care as they continue to drive forward and drive forward. And that starts giving me that little bit of concern or that growing concern, I should say, that we're becoming complacent. We have seen this before in the market where uh, Mr. Market tends to have that ability to push way beyond logic to the upside and to the downside. And I'm fearing that we might be moving into a little bit of that situation now, particularly in tech where we have forced these stocks to some unbelievable valuations um, overall. So watch that closely. But if we were to start to see a little bit of selling in here, notice we have price support right in here. So price support could hold us there. Price support could hold us right here. I don't think we turn into any kind of a major problem in this chart unless we really start breaking down some of these levels in here and seeing that trend break down. So keep in mind that we are extended um, um, in the short term, but bulls are continuing to drive forward and nothing seems to, nothing seems to deter them from that mission to move higher. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ doing the same thing. Q is very, very strong, pumping hard here this morning. We're looking for new record highs here at the open. Now keep in mind, QQQ, a little bit different situation. We are really stretched out here from this breakout. Notice we have just moved up almost in a straight line with really only one down day. Um, in this uptrend as we reversed from these lows. Pretty remarkable move here in the NASDAQ as they continue to pile in. But let's watch right in here. If we were to pull back, if we were to find some reason to pull back, notice that there is some support right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, some support right in this area here that could hold um, that market up. But we are pretty elevated here so we cannot assume that th at some point in time we could find a reason for a profit taking wave to come in here on the nasdaq then let's take a look at iwm now iwm has been extremely i mean this bullish move here um last week uh, phenomenal and we uh we broke above that 50-day moving average for the first time in a couple of months and now we're up here challenging again to the upside now today could be an important day because on this because one of the things that really changed here and moving the market higher is those oil numbers or oil sector stocks and if oil sector stocks continue to rally after that employment or petroleum status number today that could certainly continue to move to the upside we'll want to watch some of these resistance levels in this chart up here as we continue to push and pile higher here in the market and watch these big levels of consolidate or resistance up here um, as it tries to challenge its way through that that level. So let's take a look at our VIX. Now the VIX gave us a little bit of a hint that maybe not all was as shiny as the market was trying to portray. Um, and that is just with a little tiny bump up in uncertainty. I'm going to call this uncertainty today in the market. But keep a close eye on that. A um, little bit of a higher low, if that were to follow through today, that could be a problem. But the way the market is acting this morning, there is going to be no follow through to that. As a matter of fact, we could push on down and we may even be seeing new lows here soon in the VIX, the way the bulls are acting this morning. So keep a close eye on that. The VIX um, can give us some clues if that fear starts coming in. Now remember, there are some reasons this month for some potential stumbling blocks. And let me cover those here real quick. First, remember that the Supreme Court overturned the eviction moratorium. So we're likely start going to start to see eviction numbers starting to come up pretty sharply 
um, if not this month, next month, we st should start seeing them perk up a little bit here as um, um, landlords and um, thing and banks start to initiate foreclosures and evictions on folks who haven't been paying um, their mortgages or their rents. And that could create some turmoil. And then we also have the cliff that's coming on September 6th. September 6th, all of the unemployment bonuses that have been going out, 1200 bucks a month, will be removed from people's pockets that are still unemployed. So that's a big hit. And um, that could also create some of those stumbling blocks or uncertainty for this month. So watch that closely and keep an eye on that VIX. It may give us some clues if we start to stumble. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, the, the new high, new low ratio, you know, it was interesting. No one likes, likes it when I talk about the fact that, hey guys, we have reached a a uh, bearish reversal zone. No one likes it. No one wants to hear that. I get it. Um, we all just, we just want the market to go up forever. And hey, I get it. But at the same time, I got to tell you, so much of the time, this indicator just works really, really well. And it showed us that little bit of bearishness that we had yesterday, just a little bit of um, selling that we had reached that overbought condition in the short term. Now this morning we're seeing those bulls push up again again this morning and if we can get through these um, economic data points we could certainly um, move on up. Notice that by selling off a little bit yesterday we've opened up that opportunity for a bullish move back to the upside. So every reason to believe that that is certainly possible. Now if those numbers create a little bit of a problem for us we certainly can see that there is a, a pretty large opening to the downside still as well. So Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market. It just tells us where we have those openings for the market to move. Um, it, the only time it really signals a change is when we're extremely bearish um, down here or we are extremely uh, bullish and we've reached those points where it's time that we should be watching for reversal. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107... Uh, Let's go with T2101 first. T2101 had a little bit of decline in market breadth yes, yesterday. So no major problem there. We do want to recognize the fact that we are dealing with a long-term downtrend here in that market breadth. So no major surprise after such a big, strong, bullish move here that we saw a little rest yesterday. Um, what we what we want to keep a close eye on is whether or not we're going to actually push out of this big downtrend or if we're going to pull back and test this area right in here of support on that mark of breadth what we don't want to see is that is the markets continuing to set new record highs with a declining breadth and so watch that closely if um, that circumstance does start to come about. Watch that carefully. And then T2107, I've been bringing this up here recently because I think it is notable that we have so many stocks. Notice that this is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And notice that we just have barely 50% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. We have been in this pretty darn sharp decline here in this move. And right now, um, tech has been able to lift a lot of these out of that bottom and trying to pick them up. And that is a good sign. Now, let's take a look at this chart carefully there is some things we can learn from this chart notice right here we have a little downtrend not a little downtrend a sharp downtrend and we broke through that downtrend and we're trying to hold that now as support now that's a good sign if we can hold this downtrend as support it may give us evidence that we're starting to reverse some of these uh, stocks that are well below their 200 and pushing them back up notice we have a little tiny bit of price support in that right there so if we we can hold right in here and start that turn back up 
um, all of those stocks coming up out of these bottoms could definitely help the market continue to push higher. So keep a close eye on that. Also though, we also wanna recognize the fact if we were to fail, if we pop through a downtrend and are unable to hold that uh, downtrend as support, then we have that continuation problem potentially to the downside. So watch for that as well. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is chock full of stuff that could move us around today. Notice we have the ADP number. They're looking uh, for pretty substantial numbers in the ADP here this morning on those private payrolls. Just keep in mind if that were to happen to miss, that could be negative for the market. That's going to be at 8.15 Eastern Time this morning. We have PMI Manufacturing and ISM Manufacturing. Um, both of those are um, expecting a um, little bit of a decline. Um, and we're, we're seeing some of those market internals starting to show um, evidence that the economy is beginning to slow. So watch for those carefully. If they come in better than expected, that could certainly boost the market here um, this morning. If they miss, um, uh, there could be a problem on the other side of that as well. Construction spending, they're looking for a bump up in construction spending to set today. And then of course the petroleum status number. Keep an eye on that. If that continues to show a decline in supplies, that could certainly bolster those um, oil sector stocks that really, really help the Russell. So watch that closely. Of course, if it comes in as a surprise build in supplies, it could have the opposite effect. So keep a close eye. Let's take a look at some stocks that um, are going to be affected by earnings today. Um, I do have a list of notables this morning. I can't cover them all. I'm running a little bit long this morning. So if you could click that link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog and the morning blog has a list of those potential notables this morning you wanna pay attention to um, on these reports. I'll highlight a few here really quickly. Uh, CHWY, Chewy. Chewy has been in an interesting pattern. Notice right here, Chewy's broken through some resistance. We've got quite a bottoming pattern that's occurred here in that chart we push above this resistance level we do have this little short-term downtrend right here that needs to be defeated so this earnings report today could be very very important whether or not we break to the upside or break this little wedge back to the downside keep a close eye on that on chewy we're also going to hear from cpb now cpb has been in an ugly ugly downtrend um, no one seems to like Campbell soup at the moment so um, looks like we got a little bit of a boost here this morning in that earnings report and we're just challenging that downtrend as resistance so nothing there in that chart that looks particularly bullish to me um, take a look five below five below will be reporting today um, um, discount stores seem to do pretty well when the market starts to show a little bit of challenge to it so watch that closely five below as it reports today we're going to hear from smith and wesson um we know that gun sales have been extremely high and um that has certainly proved bullish for this chart but we've gone through a period of really slow um, price action in here. So watch for that earnings report today. Notice we have a little bit of a flat consolidation right here waiting for that earnings. So that gives us kind of that coin flip whether we push up to the you know heads or tails here whether we're going to go up or go down on that earnings report so keep an eye on that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos also, if you believe the video is worthy, if you could click that thumbs up button, leave those brief comments, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I can't, I can't go past one of these videos without saying how much I appreciate everyone who supports the channel with a buy me a coffee. Um, 
um, for all of the folks that aren't members to our right way options, you know, it gives them an opportunity to support this content. And I just thank you so much to everyone who has done that. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look here at some of these stocks that are looking pretty good. Now, there are stocks all over the place that have bullish and bearish signals in them, but um, stocks that I've really been paying attention to, and please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security, okay? Um, a couple of them that I want to mention that Rentway Options is holding right now. Um, BTU, we got long BTU over here and BTU is looking very, very good and continuing to try and push to the upside. So keep a close eye on this. BTU may have more upside potential in it yet. Um, this red line up here, I actually have, there's a little price resistance right in there and I've put a short strike um, against uh, my long position on here. So I'm hedged in this position in case this decides to, to pull back, but I still like the way this chart is forming. And I think maybe this little consolidating move in here could actually set up along this trend for more upside. So watch for that in that chart. Also, I have to mention Mo. Now the right way options folks are in Mo. We got into this trade right in here. Um, this has just been um, an amazing breakout. And this is that pattern I've talked about here several times, guys. And there's gonna be a video coming soon on this pattern that I wanna discuss how you can find this easily. And take a look, we have this downtrend in this chart. And then we break that downtrend and hold it as support. And I just watch for that entry after we do that. And those tend to be a very, very bullish pattern it's a it's a very tried and true pattern that um that just produces over and over and over for me and i again i'm watch for a video i'm going to have a video coming out on how you can find these very very easily so kind of excited about that and then let's take a look at some of these other stocks take a look at amd now amd had kind of a little bit of a rough day yesterday initially we we popped this alert right in here this is a beautiful upside trend and notice how nice and and controlled this price action in here beautiful move and um, although we came back and we tested this area of support I suggested to everyone in right way options yesterday this is still a bullish chart and although we popped and didn't get really get a whole lot of follow-through this little resting pullback into that support and trend nothing more than a retest of support and I think there is that opportunity here that AMD there may be another entry opportunity um, for AMD to surge on through to the upside as long as those techs continue to stay bullish there's no reason to believe that couldn't push higher. So keep a close eye on that chart. Um, there is also um, some evidence that uh, Kroger, it could be ready to get going here again. Notice that Kroger pulled back, found trend, resting out here a little bit. This has been in a very bullish move and I love a chart that just shows such deliberate, concise price action in that chart. So let's watch for this. This is a defensive sector stock and that can show some real bullishness when the market starts to show maybe a little bit of uncertainty. And so watch that carefully in here and see if that can find that energy to push on higher here this morning. I have to continue to mention healthcare. Um, when we look at the XLV, this has been in my morning prep all week and I mentioned this on Monday the possibility of this pulling back into this trend and popping it did just that but we've got a little bit of rest a little bit of um, just uncertainty in the price action there um, spinning top dojis and things like that just indecision watch this here if we can get some kind of inspiration for that to potentially pop on out and continue this just beautiful upside trend to the upside um, let's take a look at real estate XLRE has been showing us lots and lots of bullishness. You can see breaking through um, this resistance in the chart. Now, again, we really shouldn't be seeing real estate zooming like it is right now, unless there is some uncertainty in the market. 
but we've got a lot of strength here in XLRE. Now, you can certainly pick up a basket here by picking up XLRE, or you can dive into some of the stocks that make up XLRE and find some pretty good moves here um, in those stocks. All we need is a little rest or pull pullback in those charts for more upside. Notice here's that pattern starting to emerge again in VNO. Notice that we're trying to break that downtrend and we're trying to hold this area of support. So a little bullishness come in there yesterday. This is one of those tried and true patterns that could start to turn around and move to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. So there are some things out there that are really starting to show that bullishness off of lows. Um, which can be very beneficial um, for those upside moves um, to catch something that has already pulled back in the market. So there's a few charts for you to look at. Not very many today. I mean, there are a lot out there, but I'm running out of time. And I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great profits. Keep in mind, guys, to stay with this trend but don't become complacent. Don't think this market is never going to pull back because trust me, it will eventually. And I suspect when it does, because of the elevation of these stocks, it will be a painful pullback. So make sure that you have a plan to protect yourself. You're not becoming complacent, but stick with this beautiful upside trend. Everyone have a great day and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning.